Hi, this is Michael from Nonstop Coding Tutorial, and in this video, I'll show you how to use Glitch Lab that you can download from Play Store. But before we do, make sure to subscribe to my channel, hit the bell icon, and stay updated to my latest videos. So, as you can see, I have my Google Play Store up and running, and in here, search in Glitch Lab, and uh, here it is. So, before we install this up, let's take a look at the pictures in here. So these are the things that you can apply to your photos or videos there to the effects. It's really cool there and so on. All right, let's go ahead and install it. And while waiting for it to complete, I just want to let you know that Glitch Lab brings well-known effects as well as novel ideas to the world of digital glitch art. Following the philosophy of simplicity, power, and control of its predecessor apps, effects are organized into categories that span a wide array in and around the concept of glitch art. Glitch Lab is simple to use, yet at the same time, endlessly configurable. Filters combine to produce endless variations of your art. So the effects are over 100 effects covering color, streaking, breaking, repeating, data corruption, pixel sorting, Retro, pixelation, scan lines, 3D, spare, voxel, smooth surfaces, and more. Text and remix, art filters. It has also powerful user interface, infinite undo, redo, erase parts of the last applied effect. This is for the pro version. And then also bookmark images to save progress or reuse as, mar as masks. Area of effect option, activate from settings. And also Glitch Lab comes with a powerful animation module. Create smooth videos with parameter interpolation between keyframes and so on. Alright, it's done. Let's go ahead and open it. Alright, here it is. So this is the interface. And as you can see, you have the option to go to your gallery, take photos or pictures, selfie from using your camera, and then generate. So let's go ahead and generate. You can generate images from scratch here. The initial result may not be very exciting, but add one or two effects and you should get interesting results. All right. So color one and color two, let's... Uh, all right, so this is the interface and uh, let's go to our gallery by tapping the gallery. And then let's... So let's go to our gallery and choose a photo. And uh, let's try this one. Okay, and let's use the presets here below, there. So that's the first effect. Prism, Energize, Breakdown, Troubled Waves effect, Abstractor effect, Parallax noise effect, and uh, Extrusion and so on. So this one is Data Noise effect, Gremlin effect, broken NT's 80s effect and more so there so you just have to find the best effects for your photos or video so this is for BHS now if you want to save it then you just have to tap the save here save button at the top and allow it so done, it's now saved to our images folder. Then uh, apply. So you can undo it if there's something wrong. If you want to edit some if you want to edit or redo it, then tap the undo, redo, and then camera to take selfie you want to. This three dots here is where you can go to the settings, preset packs, and tutorials. So for the settings, you will see this options. You can play with it by an, by putting a check mark or removing the check mark. So use advanced effect, yes, activated. Video and bookmarks use your interface. You can put a check mark to activate it. And I'm not going to change any of the settings in here. I like the default. So I'm just going to the edit area. So this one here is where you can also uh, see other effects like this. And once you're good with this, you're good with this 
effects neon vision then just uh, hit the save button there save and then hit the check mark you can now back to the home page or and now you can and now you're back to the editing area so you have the option to undo it and do the effects and then go to other effects there so texture a texture b pop liquid pastel air bristle trace air link con link link counter and uh, so on so let's say trace and uh, save it so there photos has been saved apply and then undo so color is where you can see the color effects so there colors has been applied to the photos and this one here is the streak effect there that's the streak effect so just play along with the effects in here repeat is this one it's going to look like this if you apply the repeat effects so ghosting ghosting merge ghosting light ghosting dark ghosting colored and uh, so on corrupt there that's a corrupt effect there and then distort there distortion effect sort so that sort effect and then arts there So 3D, Retro, there's really a lot that you can choose from. You just have to find the best, like this one, Bloom. It looks nicer. So let's go ahead and save it. And then let's uh, go to 3D. Right, this is, is 3D. So there, that's the 3D. It's also good. Save it. And then generate then adjust is where you can adjust the brightness contrast saturation you and uh, so on so crop if you want to crop your photos erase if you want to erase something like that there so so that's how you use this application it's really easy to use so it's very simple and easy to use you have the option to apply well-known effects to your photos and uh, videos so that's it for this video and thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you next time.